what is going on guys welcome back to another youtube video with your boy daddy as you'll know i have the 4d number plates on my e92 so my friend sunny has just picked up his audi e-tron and today we're going to be fitting some lamborghini style plates to his audi e-tron i've not seen another audi e-tron with these style plates i've seen them on the lamborghini urus but i haven't seen them on like your typical 4x4s and stuff so it's gonna be interesting to see what they look like and obviously i'm gonna be vlogging it for you guys so let's go so uh sonny do you want to tell us what what problem you're encountering it's a big problem i'm getting car back <laughs> so he's taken the original plate off but it actually looks like that is see can you see that it looks like it's welded to the paint that's part of the bodywork so obviously we can take this form piece off but it means his plate will be stuck to these two here so i don't think it'll be flush the only other option is can you see that pulls off there yeah and then that should fit Because you're not going to you realistically need that form. If you trim it from there, because obviously your plate is short, I think your plate will come to there, won't it? Yeah. Professional at work. I think you need to heat it. Anybody wants your number plates installing, get at Sunny. Tron mobiles. Tron mobiles for you. So I've got the most difficult task. I have to reverse the e-tron out the drive, turn it around so we can reach the hairdryer, which is over there somewhere, to heat gun. What are we heat gun enough, Sonny? I don't know, some foam. <laughs> some electric foam. It's push to start this, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's electric, isn't it? I was expecting like a <laughs> Listen, how to put it in reverse? Huh? How to put it in reverse? That lever there? Yeah. Um push it down. That's not sorry, push it up. Yeah, oh. And then handbrake off. It auto is it auto handbrake? Yeah, it'll come off itself actually. Okay. That sounds like a UFO. First time driving um, at e tron. So, the concentration right now on my face because it's actually surprisingly difficult driving an electric car because you can't hear anything. And obviously, it's like instant power, so these little tiny maneuvers are difficult. This is Nadim Professional Parker. Tell you what, these brakes are squeaky for a new car. This car is fresh out the showroom and the brakes are squeaking like an old Vauxhall Corsa, which isn't good. I did have a similar problem on my Audi RS3 actually. Absolutely love that light there. Watch this. That is so cool. Alright, watch this again, guys. Oh, that is so cool. If anybody's got an Audi e tron and you want to change your number plates, Audi don't make it. Well, it's not difficult, it's just an annoying task. It's, um... Have you got WD 40? 
to you when the plate goes on. So because it is a Lamborghini style plate, there is some method to this madness of putting them on diagonally just so it sticks properly to that piece of foam there. What, what did you say? This is how Lamborghini put it on. There's a method to it. I rang them up, they said do it like this. So it should work. Let's see. Yeah. Then that side. Yeah, and then you go like this. Is that what the Lamborghini that's garage what, That's what they said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the front plate's nice and straightforward. Obviously it's still got the bracket on, so... I think a tad more to the left. It'll get sticky very fast. Yeah. What did Lamborghini say about this one? Putting this one? one on? They said do it yourself. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to do with it. Chucky Chucky got the sound switch. <laughs> As you can see, I think those Lamborghini style plates look really good on the e-tron. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. And um, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Peace out.